So today we're actually going to be swabbing our frogs for chytrid fungus, which we do every six months or so. Today we're focusing on the stuttering frog and the giant barred frog. The stuttering frog and the giant barred frog are two of the endangered amphibian species that uh, Aussie Ark is working with. So we swab our adult and our juvenile frogs and what we do is we actually take a swab and we swab from their knees all the way down to kind of like under their armpit on the underside of the frog. We also take swabs of their hands and their feet. So once we've got our sample, we basically put it in this little vial. The vial is labelled so that we know which sample is from which frog and then we send that down to a university down in Sydney. So chytrid fungus is a fungus that causes a disease in frogs known as chytridiomycosis and essentially it affects the keratin in the skin. Uh, it also stops them being able to breathe as they breathe a lot of the time straight through their skin. It can also impact the nervous system, uh, enabling the frog to move like it normally would. So this fungus can be fatal. It can move through populations very, very easily through contact of frogs or even through the same water. Kitchen fungus is having an unbelievable effect worldwide. It has almost wiped out a third of amphibians globally. It's already caused seven extinctions here in Australia with a very iconic frog, the gastric brooding frog here in Australia. So unfortunately it is wiping out populations right around the world. So the reason that we look for chytrid fungus all the time is our adult frogs, the established population, were wild caught frogs and so they came from the wild. When they came in they did have chytrid which was treated and now they're all chytrid free. So all we do is every six months swab them, we repeat the process so that we know that no chytrid has entered our facility once again. So all our frogs in the facility, both adult and juvenile, are checked around three to four times a year. So after the swabbing, we got the results back and thankfully all the frogs in the facility, both adults and juveniles, have all tested negative for kitchen fungus, uh, which is fantastic news moving forward. So now that we know these frogs are negative, they're an extremely important and critical insurance population for the giant barred frog and the stuttering frog here at Oziak and will play a very important role for these frogs and the frogs out in the wild into the future. Conservation Ark is a part of Aussie Ark, but it's located here at the Australian Reptile Park, where at the moment we're mainly working with turtles and frogs, and essentially we're trying to breed them so that eventually one day down the road we'll be able to re-release them back out into the wild when the time is right. If you'd like to help with the amazing conservation work we're doing with our native amphibians here at Aussie Ark, just head to our website at www.aussieark.org.au.